Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand what is a biological database and 10 types of biological database with examples within 5 to 10 minutes. Let's begin with the definition of biological database. A biological database is an organized collection of related biological data like nucleotide sequence, protein structure, etc. that can be easily stored, accessed and managed. In this video, we will be discussing 10 different types of biological databases with example. So we will be looking into the home page of each database to understand how these works. All these databases are excellent resources and extremely useful for biology students like us. Let's begin with the bibliographic database. Bibliographic database contains article and research purpose of different journals. Example is PubMed. Let us visit the home page of PubMed. So this is a home page and this is maintained by National Center for Biotechnology Information or NCBI and it comprises more than 35 million citations for biomedical literature. Let me type the keyword insulin. Uh, you can see the research articles related to the topic insulin. So these are the research articles. Let me click the first one. So we'll be getting the abstract of that particular paper. We can have the full text also. So majority of the articles we can have access, free access. So PubMed is a bibliographic database that contains information regarding articles, research articles related to biomedical literature. So this is very helpful as a researcher or a student while preparing a project report or a thesis. The second database is a sequence database. It contains protein and nucleotide sequence. Examples include GenBank, DDBJ, DNA Data Bank of Japan, then PAR that is regarding amino acid sequence or protein sequence, protein information resource. Let us see the home page of GenBank. So this is the home page of GenBank. This is also maintained by NCBI. By default here it is nucleotide. Let me type the same keyword insulin then search. So you can see the sequences of insulin that is stored in this database. So let us select this first one. So this is from Octet and Duchess, a complete CDS sequence. You can see the accession number, then the keyword source organism and at the bottom you can see the sequence. So this is the sequence. So let, let us see the FASTA format also. This FASTA format starts with the forward arrow followed by accession number, then details of the organism, details of the sequence followed by the sequence. A sequence database or a nucleotide sequence database is a database that stores sequences submitted by researchers or laboratories all around the globe on a daily basis that is stored as an archival purpose and also for future reference and study. The third database is the structure database. It contains three-dimensional structure of proteins and nucleic acids. Example is Protein Data Bank or PDB. Let us visit the home page of PDB. So this is the home page of PDB or Protein Data Bank. You can see by default this is 3D structure. Let me type insulin again. Now you can see the three-dimensional structure of the related query or insulin. Structural data is three-dimensional structural data is very important in understanding the structure and function of an enzyme. That is very helpful in computer-aided drug design. This helps us to assess the interaction between the enzyme and the lead molecule or drug candidates. A structured database stores three-dimensional structures of proteins and nucleotides. The next one is a metabolic database. It contains data about various biological pathways. Examples include KEK and Metapsych. Let us visit the home page of KEK. So this is the KEK home page. Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes. By default here it is MAP Organism. Let me enter the pathway glycolysis. Hit go. Then we will be getting information regarding the pathway. A chart showing the pathway with all the details. Then enzymes involved, associated diseases and literature associated with this pathway. Everything that is clubbed together. So an in-depth information of the pathway is available in this KEK database. And the next one is the model organism database. It contains in-depth biological data of studied model organisms like Drosophila, yeast, 
then E. coli, etc. So Flybase is a model organism database of Drosophila. This is a rad genome database. EcoPsyc is for E. coli. Let us see the home page of EcoPsyc. So this is EcoPsyc, a scientific database for the bacterium E. coli. Contains information regarding E. coli. Let's type DNA polymerase. Then click search. You can see the DNA polymerase data that is related to E. coli. Let me click the first one. You can see the reference related to that. Then the length of the sequence. Then how it works. Reactions, protein features, operons, references, massive data on E. coli DNA polymerase 1. As these model organisms are thoroughly studied, these databases help us to compare the data from other biological sources or biological species with these model organisms for better interpretation of a data. The next database is the enzyme database that contains data about structure and functions of various enzymes. Example is Brenda. Let us see the home page of Brenda. So this is the home page of Brenda. Let's type an enzyme, riponuclease. As you can see the information regarding riponuclease. So the enzyme like and interaction diseases associated with this enzyme, enzyme structure, molecular properties, application references, then other informations are also there. The same enzyme reported in different organisms. An in-depth detail about that particular enzyme is available in this enzyme database. And the next database is the disease database that contains disease-related information. Let us see OMIM, Online Mendelian Inheritance of Man. It's an online catalog of human genes and genetic disorders. Let's type diabetes. You can see the data regarding diabetes, the enzymes involved, the proteins, the cytogenetic location, mapping, pathogenesis, then many references related to this particular disease and all this data and also the chromosomes that is associated with this disease. All this data available in this online Mendelian Inheritance of Man, a disease database. And the next one is chemical database, a data on several small organic molecules. Classical example is PubChem. So this is PubChem. Let me type Taxol which is an anti-cancer drug derived from Texas Previfolia plant. You can see the compound ID, the molecular formula, a UPAC name, then isomers, then genes, proteins, pathways, bioassays, then literature, all information regarding this particular chemical taxol. So this is a comprehensive database for finding out data about a particular chemical. The next one is microarray database contain gene expression data from microarray experiments. GEO is an example. Let us see the web page of GEO. This is also maintained by NCBI. This is gene expression omnibus. So let me type the keyword once again insulin, then click search. So you can see the effect of insulin receptor deletion in hepatocytes on liver gene expression. So this is an expression study that is studied in mus musculus or mouse. So all the data associated with this particular study is available so that we can carry out further studies or to make an interpretation about the present study. All data is available on this database gene expression omnibus that is provided by NCBI. And the final database is the taxonomic database, the database that provides information on earth species of animals and plants. Let us see the homepage of Catalog of Life, a taxonomic database, the most complete authoritative list of world species maintained by the collaboration of hundreds of global taxonomists, data regarding animals, plants, fungus, and other kingdom. Let me search with the common name Felis, so you can see the details about that particular genus, then the species associated with that genus and all such data is available in this database. So this database is very useful in biodiversity studies, in taxonomic studies, as this is a thoroughly updated list of known species of plants, animals, fungus and other organisms. So we have discussed 10 types of biological databases. Hope you have benefited from this video. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your attention. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com. If you want to add any other useful databases, please add in the comment section. Thank you.